All right, and this is Firemind here, and today we are going to check out how to create animations on weapons. So we will create this basic shooting animation that you see here, and yeah, it's going to be actually pretty simple and pretty quick. So please enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so we start off with this basic scene. I basically just took a gun and set it in front of the first person controller from the standard assets. If you do not know how to do this, uh, please check the tutorial that I linked in the description below. There you can find how to achieve this. So now we wanna add a animation on that gun when we shoot it. So far we cannot shoot it yet. So let's do that. Let's exit play mode here and this the whole process is pretty straightforward, so you just click that gun and then you want to go up to Window, Animation, Animation. And now what you want to do is you want to create an animation clip for this. So the first one, we're going to create two here, so we're going to create Idle, which is the kind of standard um, thing that you always want to have. Also I'm going to attach this down here. And what you also notice is that it assigned an animator to your gun. So we're going to use that later as well. Now, in here, you are on the idle animation. And what you want to do here is we don't want this to be anything specific. So I'm just going to add a property. And here you can add the different ones. So I'm going to add a position. And I'm going to add a... Oh, no, sorry. No scale. Don't want for scale. I'm going to add a rotation. And that's pretty much it. So now what you can do is you can go to like 10 here and copy all of them, add them here. I'm not gonna add any real animation on this. That's just the gun being steady. You can add like it going up and down if you want to, but we're not doing this in this one. So now we wanna add the shoot animation. So create a new clip, call this shoot, or shooting maybe, and save. Now here we do want to create like a kind of different rotation. So I'm also going to add the position again. I'm also going to add the rotation in here. Now, as you can see, they already created keyframes for us. That's fine. And we want to go to maybe like five milliseconds or whatever that is. And then adjust these keyframes. So this will actually animate. So I want to switch to the, to the game states so I can actually see the animation a little bit better and now here I can start adjusting these values to see what happens so if you adjust these you will see that the gun will move so like if I make a 5 here it actually comes closer to the camera that's kind of what we want so not don't want to move it that far back so let's maybe put this on 6 and then you can hit uh, spacebar to see how it would look. So you can see already the gun is already moving and this is the beginning of our shoot animation. Uh, I may want to move it back a little bit more. Now it's really just playing with these values and creating an animation that you're happy with. And yeah, that's pretty much it to it, to the animation. So I'm going to speed this up here and I'm going to move around the keyframe so it looks that satisfying to me. And then here I want to shorten this animation because right now it's like, I don't know, almost a second long or whatever and should be way quicker because I want to be able to shoot very quick. So I'm just going to take these and move them probably around here. So the whole thing shortens and it's just that a lot faster animation, maybe a little bit less. And yeah, so again, this is all try and play. All right, so I think I'm happy with this. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the animator and you can already see it added these animations in here. However, so far it didn't connect them. So you want to connect the idle to the shooting state because you want to be able to shoot from idle. So let's create a new transition and then also create a new transition backwards. Now this would result in going back and forth, which we don't want. We want to add a condition here. So doesn't just do that so let's click that and before that also make a trigger 
call this shoot. And then on that transition, click on conditions and then add shoot in here. So whenever that trigger is activated, it goes into shooting. Now, since this animation is very short, we would get, uh, this would look a little bit weird because the transition is pretty much the whole animation. So we don't want to transition here. So just to show you how this would look, let's go to the scene. Also, we want to add a uh, script to that gun that actually shoots. This You can do this wherever you want, pretty much. Uh, you have to access the animator. And um, in order to do that, we're going to add a new script. I called this one gun controller. I did that. It's super, super simple. You basically just uh, get an animator and then... Um, assign that animator, and then if the mouse button is pressed, set the trigger to shoot. I have this code on firemindacademy.net. You can copy it from there if you don't want to write it yourself. Uh, just click on the link in the description below and you can copy it from there. Now with this attached, it should trigger the shoot trigger and play the animation. But what we will see is that it takes too long and it like kind of repeats itself. It just acts a little bit weird. That's because of the shortness of this animation. So what you want to do is you want to click on the transition and then disable the exit time and also set the transition to zero because we don't need a transition on that. Okay, so we have that. Now let's go back and as you can see, this gun is now acting as we are, as it's supposed to. And we can then start adding projectiles or muzzle flashes. But that's for another tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked this tutorial, please leave me a like. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe. Also, if you have any other requests for tutorial, Can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find the matching request, make sure to leave it a like, so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a Title, Topic and Description for your request and simply click on Make Request and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.